Hey, what's up, everybody? It's Alfaro here, and today we're going to do T5 No Hope Solo. So I'm going to show you how to complete it. I'm going to show you my tips and tricks and what I do and everything I can possibly do to help you complete this mission. Now, before we even start this, I just want to let you know to do it by yourself because you only have to worry about eight crates. When I did it with a friend, it was just me and a partner and two bots. The boxes went up to 16. So that's just like a crazy amount of boxes to run around and get. And then you got to worry about the ogre. So I just advise you just to do it by yourself. And you just have to worry about eight boxes. Now, I'm going to play this clip. And I'm going to just do commentary of what I was doing and what I was thinking at the time of the gameplay. And also, if you want to see me complete Act 3 solo, I'll put a link in the description and a card above. And you can check that out. So before we even get into the clip... Let me show you what's happening in the background. So basically this corruption card is happening. That's why you see the green fog and you see all that bolstered health. And basically this card is called biohazard and written deal 25% extra damage, three temporary health granted by kills, 100% team bolstered health and temporary health decay rate increased by 200%. I love when this card happens because I get to use what I love the most is pipe bombs because when you pipe it up and you throw it around, the ridden go all over it. And when that explodes, you get all that bolstered health. And, you know, that's beautiful because a lot of times, you know, you'll get hit a lot or you'll just get hit randomly. And as long as you have bolstered health, you should be fine and you shouldn't die. And that's really what's happening in the background. And also you will see that I have like these skull totems up here. If you look at the top, I don't know why that's there because before this mission, I had a Ridden Hives and I guess I just bugged out and just placed that there. So I'm going to click play and we're just going to get into it right now. So basically what you're seeing me do is I drop everything that I bought from the supply uh, crate and I just dropped it. And now I'm just picking it up and putting it in front of the door. I like to put the... The offensive items on the right side and the healing on the left side. Yeah, that's what I'm doing right now. Take it. And I'm I'm gonna um like pick up all the gasoline cans. I'm gonna just scatter them. But I'm probably going to put them in front of the door so that I can remember where they are when I'm running around. But don't put them too close together because if you put them too close together, everything's going to explode and it's just going to be a waste. You just gotta remember not to shoot those because everything will just explode at once. So just remember that they're there. So when he comes down, when Rogers comes down, I like to go straight up and just put the gasoline near the stairs and just look for the crates. And I like to stack the crates. So look, I already got one. So look at all those written. So look, I'm going to deliver this one off rip so I don't have to worry about it. Already Doc is getting bodied. Look, Doc already died off rip. She died. So there you go. I throw a pipe bomb. Check out my health when that pipe bomb it explodes. Watch it. See? Right now I'm just ad clearing and clearing the specials as well. And that explorer just killed both of them. So now I'm really solo. Like I have no bots with me or anything. And I got the ogre outside as well. I can hear it. Now you got to be careful. When you play uh, No Hope, those meatballs, they one hit you. 
And he got like aimbot on them, so junk is crazy. So yeah, right now it's just ring around the rosy. So I'm getting a lot of temp help from that. You, you go up the stairs, you put it there, and then they just walk into that, and then you just get temp out. Now, I need to look for the crates, because I, I found one right there. Oh, my goodness. He almost hit me with that. So yeah, I, ju I just hit 26 health. Look at that. That armor ridden is jacking me up right there. I need to get that med kit. But that tall boy's messing, messing up the flow. But look at all that temp health I just got. So this door at the bottom is exit only. So you have to keep that in mind because when that door closes, you can't go back in it from the outside. I just missed that barrel. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I almost got bodied there. The tall boy swung as well. Look at all that tempo that I just got though. So yeah, hang is really good because of his reuse. There's a couple of times where I'm throwing things and I'm getting a reuse opportunity. And also when you get hit, you can get that accessory. And at this point, it doesn't matter what you get. If you get a firecracker, molotov, grenades, pipe bomb, you take it and you throw it because you need it all in T5. That crusher wants to get me. So I like to go through the exit and through this through the window and through that door and you can deliver the crates on the side of the truck always remember that yeah, I need that. see it's a matter of juking the ogre and picking up my offensive items that crusher would have got me it would have been over so so far five out of eight So now I got to go back in the basement because I I don't think I cleared it right when I was doing this. And I was right. See, I didn't clear it right. Oh, my. <laughs> and also, when you pick up the, the supply crates or the mini crates, you get a combat knife automatically. I don't know if you guys noticed that. Oh my goodness, look at this, look at this. This is where I thought it was over. That meatball and all those ridden. Look at that temp health though, that just saved me. Like, and I got a reuse off of the pipe bomb. Just what I need. And there we go, we got another crate. So we got six out of eight right now. So yeah, you don't want to stay inside the mansion all day. Because you're just going to get overrun. You have to get out and move around. And I just picked up the seventh crate from when I juked the ogre and a bunch of ridden. So look, I got one more left. Now this is going to just... This is just going to be me running around looking for this last one. Because at this point, I forgot that I found the last one I needed. And it was in the last floor. Or it was in the top floor. So 
See, look, I got sandwich right here. I had the juke the exploder and the crusher. Again, I almost died. But that pipe bomb is gonna handle most of them. So I know the ogres on the left. Yeah, honestly, I shouldn't even pick that up because the copper, that card did not matter. <laughs> that crusher, man. That's my fan. That's my only fan right there. <laughs> so look, I was like, I know the crate has to be up here. And it was because I was like, I did not clear that fully. And there you go. That's eight out of eight right there. And yeah, that's pretty much how I completed T5, you know. The best advice I can give you is run around, yes, but make sure you clear the top and you go through each floor. You go to the top, the mid, the bottom, and always use that exit only. Like go through the exit only and then go through the mid and go to the truck. And it's up to you if you want to kill that ogre, but honestly, just juke around the ogre. And yeah, that's how I completed T5 on No Hope Solo. Hopefully you can. And if you did, comment down below and let me know if this video helped you. And make sure to like, subscribe, and turn that notification bell on. This is Alfaro, signing out.